Christ, I need to remember how to do this. It's been so fucking long. Oh, I'm mean, freaking, I can't cuss anymore. What the hell is this? I'm literally trying to open this new G Fuel I got. I. There we fucking go. God. Fucking crammed in there, boy. I. God, I'm gonna have to clean that up after this. First taste test of. Tropical rain. It's not bad. All right, now let's talk to get into this video, okay? We are doing the 16 personality test. It's basically, you answer a crap ton of questions, and honestly, they just kind of guess who you are and what you are. I mean, hopefully I can learn from it. But anyways, let's start this. And I'm back on the computer. When was the last time you guys saw me on the computer? Anyways, okay. You find it difficult to introduce yourself to other people. Uh, find it difficult? Not really. I mean, I kind of do, but not not really. You often get so lost in your thoughts that you ignore the 100% agree with that. You try to respond to your emails as soon as possible and cannot stand a message. That's definitely not true. Uh, okay, here's the thing. I Obviously, I would, you know message them back as fast as possible but i don't care about my sandbox that can i don't care you find it easy to stay relaxed even when there's some pressure yeah no yeah uh, yeah you not usually initiate conversation that's not true i usually do i mean uh, yeah no i do you really do something just out of sheer curiosity yeah that strongly disagree i mean that's how i started youtube that's how i started doing the truth in life the true story and stuff so no you feel superior to other people that's a disagree I don't being organized is more important than being adaptable I strongly disagree with that you are usually highly motivated and energetic yeah no I, I mean I try to be at least <laughs> I try winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one gets hurt okay winning a debate matters less to you than making sure no one yeah I mean okay yeah no yeah you often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people Kinda no. You often feel as if you have to justify yourself to other people. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like I need to like prove that I'm something. Your home and work environment are quite tidy. That's a god no. You do not mind being at the center of attention. I don't mind being at all. You consider yourself more practical than creative. Nope. I mean. Literally, what one day, uh, Matt and I were hanging out at work, and we're like, dude, let's start making like a documentary type of video. So we thought of a true life story, and ever since then, I mean, kind of skyrocketed. It's been fun, so that was 100% creative. People can rarely upset you, yeah. No, people, yeah, no, it, it's hard to upset me, honestly. Um, I can get annoyed, but not upset. Your travel plan is usually well thought out, nope. It is often difficult for you to relate to other people's feelings. No, no, no. Your mood can change very quickly. No, not really. It, it's hard. I mean, I have my days that I get angry. I have my days that I don't. In discussion, truth should be more important than people's sensitivity. No, I think, I think, I think, yes, you can come across the truth, but you don't have to be a dick about it, you know? I don't think that, no. Nah. You really worry about how your actions affect. Yeah. I mean, other than like cussing on YouTube and stuff like that, I don't care. Your work style is closer to random energy spikes than the methodical and organized. Yeah. You are often envious of others. No. No, not really. I mean. No, because I would, I would rather, I would rather work hard and get what I want than, than, than. Okay. Here, here's the thing. I would rather work to get what I want than wish of something that other people have, you know? Like, I don't... I mean, yeah, sure, it'd be cool to become a YouTuber, but I don't want to have PewDiePie's career. I don't want to have all these other careers. No, I'd rather have my own and do my own journey. I, I'm not envious, no. 
an interesting book of video game is better y yeah I like video games I mean <laughs> that's that's my starting of a YouTube right there being able to develop a plan to stick to it is the most important part of every project it depends how broad the plan is I mean if the plan is literally make a song or make a video then like it's it's important to stick to the plan but I mean you can Hmm, I somewhat agree to it. Okay, being able to develop a plan and stick to it. It's the most important part of every project. I kind of agree. Not, 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 not strongly though, no. You rarely get carried, you rarely get carried, nope. You ever find yourself lost in thought when you're walking in nature? Yeah, I do. Uh, nature or driving, I, I literally just lose thoughts when I'm driving. It's just, if someone does not respond to you, email quick and start worrying if you said something wrong. I'm very anxious when I talk to people and then can you guys see that my glasses are broken too I think you can no I mean I'll be real with you guys I'm pretty I'm a pretty anxious person when like I say something and it takes a while for someone to say something back I do kind of get nervous so yeah as a parent you rather see your children grow up kind than smart yeah yeah no I mean you can be kind and somewhat smart but I don't want you to be a complete jackass and yeah no you do not let other people influence your actions. I'm going to slightly disagree with that. Only because a lot of my actions I do do on my own. But I definitely have other people influence like how I do them. Like, I mean, we, we, we collab with the true life and everything like that. Like, I mean, other people do influence me. Like, it's just, it's a thing. When you sleep, your dreams tend to focus on the real world and its events. Nah. Well, I dream of being known and I dream of living not here. Does that kind of reassure? Ah, uh, nah, nah. Does that take you much time to start getting involved in social activities as you were? Not at all, actually. Um, when I started working at DQ, I mean, I kind of, ooh, I kind of just went for it. I mean, it took me about uh, maybe a month to really get to know everyone but I thought it, I thought everyone was cool when I started working there you're more of a natural improviser than a careful planner yeah I improvise the fuck out of everything your emotions control you more than you control them <sighs> hmm I mean I let my emotions really kind of they drive me. I feel like good emotions drive positive emotions drive positive people to do positive things. So yes and no. I'm gonna slightly agree with that. You enjoy going to social events that involve dress up or roll yeah. I mean I wanna go to like all the anime cons, I wanna go to like Comic Con, I wanna do all that stuff when I get the chance to. So click that like button, hit subscribe, and make sure you hit the notification button, because I guess that's a thing now that you have to click. You have to spend time exploring unrealistic and practical yet intriguing ideas. 100%. 100%. It's all just in my brain. I Sometimes I don't sleep. I think that's why I'm in, I have insomnia. It's because as soon as I start thinking of like a topic or like something that intrigues me, it's just instantly just, I I guess I ain't sleeping tonight. Would rather improvise than spend time coming up with a detailed, yeah, I know. I would. Okay, coming up with a plan is good, but improvising during that plan is really good, so I'm going to just somewhat agree with it. You're a relatively reserved and quiet person. Nope. If you had a business, you would find it very difficult to find loyal people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And this is a horrible person. You have to contemplate the reason for human... Yeah, I kind of do. It's kind of a weird subject, but it yeah, it comes up a lot. Logic is usually more important than heart when it comes to making important decisions. No. It's not. Like... You you gotta mm, you gotta be logical with what you do, but you gotta listen to that heart, man. Like, I mean, let's be honest here. If if I don't know, LeBron James in middle school was getting really good, but logically he was like, dude, I don't know if I can make the NBA. It's pretty hard. But his heart was like, yo, let's become the best we can be. And he, I mean, everyone arguably says LeBron James wasn't the best. I mean, he kind of is kind of an asshole. I mean, I don't know him. Keeping your option open is more important than having a to do list. Yeah, no, I agree. 
your friend is sad about something, you're more likely to offer emotional support than suggest ways to deal with the problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. You are, you are really insecure. No. I'm pretty insecure. I mean, I'm not to the extent that I can go out and have fun, but I'm like, no, am I insecure? I think I, I, I don't think I am. No, I don't think I am, honestly. I don't, I, I'm going to be half because I might be sometimes, but I don't, it doesn't really come up to me when I'm doing something like, oh, I don't know if I should. People might judge me because I don't care if they judge me. You have no difficult coming up with a personal time timetable and sticking to it. Just going to leave that right there. Being right is more important than being cooperative. No. No, 100% disagree. You can be right, but you have to be cooperative. You can't just 100% be like, yo, this is right. Because that's when, that's when, like, okay, that's when you have two people who are showing their point of views together, but one is, like, yelling at the other because they think they're right, even though it's their own views, it's their own, like, way of thinking. Like, everyone has different ways of thinking. It doesn't mean one person is right. It means everyone, to an extent, is right. And their own opinions. So when you're fighting, okay. When when you have an opinion, when you when you're talking, okay, and you, you you're sharing your opinions, that's fine. You can have like you can people might think you're arguing, but you're not really. You're just sharing opinions. But as soon as you start like pushing your opinions on others, then that's just wrong. I, I think. I mean, obviously, I could be wrong. Oh, that's literally the next question. What the hell? <laughs> you think that everyone's view should be respected regardless of whether they are supported by facts or not? Yeah, uh, to an extent. You can't fully, like, respect them, but you gotta respect them. You feel more energetic after spending 100% group of people? Yeah, I mean, as soon as I, like, get off of hanging out with Matt and Mike and Johnny and stuff, like, we... It, it's like their creativity helps me with my creativity, and I can come home and just freaking bust out whatever I want. You're freaking misplaced your things. Yeah. Yeah, I do. You see yourself as very emotionally stable. No. I mean, I have my times when I freak out. I have my times when I'm super sad. But I do have my times when... I think I'm... No, I'm going to say somewhat disagree. Your mind is always buzzing when unexplored. Yeah. Yep. You could, You would not call yourself a disagree with that. You usually find it difficult to relax when talking in front of many people. You usually find it difficult to relax? No. It's pretty... Okay. For me, when I when I first t talk to you and I'm just like kind of feeling you out, I'm obviously kind of quiet, nervous. I'm letting you guys talk more just so I can really understand the boundaries you guys will allow me to talk because I think I have like steps. I can be super calm, super nice, you know, yeah, woo, yeah. Or I mean, if I know you and I know you're okay with the higher up BS I can talk about, then I talk about the BS. Then you're speaking really more on your experience than your imagination. I don't really have any experience. So no, I mean I, I not not I mean I don't have experience doing YouTube. Like I'm not the best. I mean I'm still learning how to edit, I'm still learning how to do these, I'm still learning how to make music, I'm still learning how to do all this stuff. So no. I don't really have a, I think that with with age, like give me like four more years and let me retake this test and maybe it might be different. But for right now, no. no. You worry too much about what other people think. I gotta disagree. If your room is full, you stay close to the walls and avoid in the center. No, I'm gonna slightly disagree, but just because I do like I do like talking to people. I like meeting everyone. It's fun. I, I like it. You have a tendency of procrastinating until there's not enough time. Okay, right. I'm gonna slightly disagree because I do procrastinate a lot, but I try my damn just to get everything done on time. So I'm gonna disagree with that. When you feel very anxious in stressful situations, semi agree. I mean, I'm an anxious person. I just am. Um, um, I think, and stressful situations, I can easily overcome them. But there is a time. Okay, very anxious. No, I don't. No, you believe that you believe that it is more rewarding to be liked by others than to be powerful. Agree, agree. You have always been interested in unconventional and ambiguous things, etc. In books, art, movies. Yeah, you have to take initiative in social situations. Yes and no. Like I said, I, I like other people trying to step up, but I think, okay, three years three years ago, the Truman three years ago, 100% would have said no. I mean, I used to be a complete follower. I used to follow what everyone did just because I felt like I needed to follow. But now, 
Nah, man, you gotta be you got you gotta be a leader if you want something in life. You gotta you gotta be able to push yourself, and other people might follow or might not. So you just gotta keep pushing yourself in different ways. Oh shit! Okay, results. Let's get this. E. Okay, I'm a campaigner. Hold up. What the hell is it? Okay. Energy. What is all this? I gotta take a picture real quick. I, I, uh, I'm extremely extroverted, but I do have to have introverted self. Yeah. Intuitive and observant. See, yeah, I observe, but I'm very, I'm very, yeah. Okay. Nature. This trait determines how you make decisions and cope with emotions. I think I go with feelings more than thinking. Okay. The trait. No. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Twenty percent. Okay. The trait reflects your approach to work, planning, and decision prospecting. Okay. Then the trait underpins all of this, showing how confident you are with your ability to create. A, if I'm sixty for, I'm about the. Okay. I, I mean, obviously, with like mind and energy. I, I mean, yeah, seventy-two percent, twenty-eight is a lot. Obviously, towards one, but I'm kind of in the middle to an extent. Anyways, okay, let's start reading this shit. Whatever. The campaign of person personality is a true free spirit. They are often in the life of the party, but unlike types of explorers group, campaigners are less interested in the sheer excitement and pleasure of the mo of the moment than they are enjoying the social and emotional connection that makes with others. Charming, independent, energetic, and compassionate, the seven percent of the population that they comp comprise can certainly help in any crowd. Less interested in the sheer excitement and pleasure of the moment. No, I do like the moment though. I love living in the moment. Huh? Okay. I'm a campaigner. What is a campaigner? Like a E N F P A. Diplomat and people mastery. Okay. Romantic relationships. Friendship, parenthood, career paths. Just actually kind of cool. Uh, honestly, though, if you go to 16personalities.com, take this test and either screenshot it and uh, go to my Twitter at the true para or comment down what you guys got. Because you can see right here, I got campaigner ENFPA. Tell me what you guys get. Because this is very interesting. I'm going to read more about this, but. I definitely think this is a good time to let go on my first video back. So yeah, have a good day, morning, and night. It's been a while since I said that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!